So we got a ton of words and a dot plot thing. Let's see what's going on here. So we had a candy company that complains 45% are, are blue, 30% are brown, 25% are yellow. Each bag holds 65 candies. The simulation was run 200 times, each sample size 65, based on the premise that 45% of the candies are blue. The results of the simulation are shown below. It's got a mean. It's got a standard deviation. All right. So Bonnie purchased two candy and counted 24 blue candies. What inference can be made regarding the bag of J&Bs with only 24 blue candies? All right. So uh, let's see what we got going on here. So this is this confidence interval stuff that we have to deal with. So they're saying that 45% of the candies it produces are blue. All right. And this is the number of blue candies, but it's not in percents. All right. The mean is 29.27. So that's kind of evil. Uh, let's see. How many candies are in the bag? Each bag holds 65 candies. All right. So 29.270 over 65. 29.270. I hate these questions. Is 45% right on the nose. Okay. So that's good. All right. That's good. That means that their 45% is, is correct. So they're trying to trick you on that to get you to think 45 isn't the right number. All right. So the mean is there. And then we're going two standard deviations above and below. All right. So we're going like seven this way. So we're going over here to like 22 ish. And then we're going, well, no, we're really going eight because it's almost four. So we're going to 21, going about to 21, and about to 29 plus 8 is 37. So we're in there. So plus or minus two standard deviations is what we're doing. Okay, so we're anywhere in there is, is good, all right, by our confidence intervals. So the company is not meeting the production standard. Bonnie's bag was a rarity, and the company should not be concerned. The company should change its claim to 37%. Bonnie's bag is within the middle 95% of the simulated data supporting the company's claim. This is the answer right here. All right. And that's two standard deviations right there. Okay. Because 21, and again, I'm estimating here. I'm not doing this exactly. I could do it exactly. But 21 out of 65 is 32%. So with the confidence intervals, 32% to like 37-ish. So 37 divided by 65 is 57 percent all right so anything in that range is okay hers is 24 24 over 65 is 37 percent and that falls in there okay i don't i don't like these questions i'm going to be honest with you i just don't like them i'm not a statistics person um but because that has to lie within two or two standard deviations above or below the mean it does that. It's considered perfectly legitimate that that's the value that it is. If it was outside of those, um, then we could say that their claim is not good.